All right, guys. Uh, my name is Justin Miller. I own JM Diagnostics. Today, I'm doing my first video ever. What we're covering today is a relative compression test without using an amp clamp. I'm going to show you how to do that, and I'll also show you compared with the amp clamp so you can see exactly what, what it does. So you can see the voltage change and the amperage. Over here on the car, I've already made our connections. I have my channel B synced up to one of my cylinders. I have my amp clamp. This is the Pico Scope 200, 2000 amp clamp set on a 200 amp scale. I have channel A directly to the battery and to the engine block. What I have here is just for ease so I don't have to go in and out of the car. I've got my starter button so we can crank it over right here. I've taken out one of the plugs so we can see what it looks like with the compression missing on one of the cylinders. So over here on the scope, <clears throat> that's my starter button. We have these two leads. This is so you can do it on just any two channel scope. It doesn't have to be a Pico scope to do this. This one here, you don't have to have to do it, but that's the one we're going to show you side by side, the voltage and the amperage, so you can see that it can be done and what it looks like. I set my trigger for channel B so that when it sees the ignition sink, it's going to start keeping the trace. So I've got the throttle plate opened up all the way with my throttle depressor, and here we go. So what we have here, this is the voltage line here. You can see the the change in the voltage here. When it goes up like this, this is the battery voltage coming back to its higher voltage. So each time it goes down is when it's hitting a compression stroke, which is the opposite of our amps. Our amps go up when it hits a compression stroke and down less amps being drawn when it's in between cylinders. So right here is our missing cylinder where we don't have a spark plug in the hole. So we go from here to here, we have six compressions here, one missing, and that's how it's done. You can do this with any scope. You can use this scope or this scope, go back to a hand tech, I don't care. They all measure voltage over time, and that's what we're doing here today. Thanks for watching.